Now I'm going to show you how to enter a confidence interval for a standard deviation. I'm ignoring any built-in functionality or programs you've added and just going with the formula by hand. I'm using the problem from my video titled 7.5 part 6 standard deviation etc. And at timestamp 2 minutes and 35 seconds I solved this problem getting the results indicated below. So first thing I need to do is take a square root. I've turned my calculator on, but my square root button is technically the yellow display above x squared. So I first hit the yellow second and then x squared to get the square root symbol. Now I have a lot of parentheses inside the square root because of a subtraction, a multiplication, some squaring, but on a calculator you don't need that detail so long as I go ahead and subtract in my head. So my sample size n minus one, or my degrees of freedom, so in this case five minus one is four, I'll do that in my head. Now I'm going to multiply with s, my sample standard deviation, which is 1.41, 421, this quantity is squared. That's the most common mistake I see is people forget to actually square it. Again, I'm not doing any parentheses because if I do, it ends the square root and I need all of this to stay under the square root. So now that I finished the numerator, I'm ready to divide by the denominator. So I choose the division symbol, type my denominator of 9.488. No parentheses, I can just hit the enter button and I get my lower bound of 0.918, etc. On this calculator, instead of typing this all in again, I'm just gonna bring up the line I just typed. Remember, on this calculator, what I need to do is actually hit second and the enter button so I can get the entry that I just typed. And now I can back arrow all the way to where my denominator had started with the nine and I'm going to hit delete until each digit is gone, and I can keep hitting delete and I won't lose anything extra. But now I can go ahead and type in the 0.711. I don't need the lead zero. And if I hit enter, I get my upper bound of 3.35, etc. And remember, this S sample standard deviation value of 1.4 should be within the range of your answer. And because 1.4 is within these two lower and upper bound numbers, I'm pretty confident I've done this correctly.